Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, just a quick one, just to show you how to do a full factory reset. If you've got one of these, this is the TP-Link BE3600, otherwise known as the BE230 in some other regions. It's a very similar process for pretty much most of the TP-Link routers, so this should be fine if you're wanting to perform a factory reset. If your device is misbehaving, or perhaps you're returning it, or possibly you're trying to add it to a mesh network and you want to reset it before you do that, so this is very easy to do. So you will need to have the device powered up, so using the wall plug, and potentially you can have it connected to the internet, that's entirely up to you. You will also need a small tool to actually depress the reset button. So I'm going to use one of these SIM eject tools. These are absolutely fine, but you can use anything you like as long as it's small enough to actually gain access to the reset hole. So let's turn the device around, give you a close up and show you how it's done. So on the back of the unit, you'll notice there are a few buttons here and also there is a reset hole. So get your SIM eject tool and locate the reset hole and just press it in for about 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you can release it and on the front you should see all the lights go out. The power button light will flash for a little while before it resets. So you can see it there flashing and it will now go through the reset and boot up process. Once the Wi-Fi lights and also the internet activity light is on, the unit is now ready and is now back into its default configuration. So if you wish to access it, you can go to tplinkwifi.net or go to the default router's address on the back of the unit, which is normally 192.168.0.1 and you can use the original passwords which are on the back of the unit also. So there we go, that is the unit completely reset and it's now gone back to having all the LEDs illuminated. So that's absolutely fine. So this is now in the default configuration. If you need to access it, you can go to tplinkwifi.net on your desktop PC, or alternatively, you can go to the default IP, which is 192.168.0.1. The username and password of the default settings are printed on the back of your router. So do check those to see what the login credentials actually are. But other than that, that is pretty much it. Hopefully the video has been useful. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also that chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I'll be Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. Hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.